All right, let's dive into Ibis Paint X and create some electrifying magic. We're starting off with the Dip Pen Hard tool, and I've adjusted the start and end opacity for smoother transitions. First, pick a color you love. Go bold, go vibrant, whatever fits your vibe. Now let's draw our main electric flow line. Keep it fluid, like this. Next, I'll make certain areas thicker to give it that natural dynamic energy of an electric current in motion. Here's where it gets exciting. Head over to the Liquify tool and use Expand to make some sections bigger. Then switch to Shrink to tighten up other parts for variation in detail. Let's layer things up by adding more lines. Same style, just building on that electric effect. Once you're happy with the design, duplicate the layer and change its blending mode to add. Trust me, this is where it starts to glow. Next, head to the Filters menu and apply Gaussian Blur. I've found that a value of 8 or 9 works perfectly to soften and enhance those electric lines. Repeat this step for your smaller details too. From here, add layers and hide the ones you don't need, setting them to Add Mode again for that luminous punch. For extra detail, duplicate the layers, tweak them, and use the Perspective Form tool to adjust the shape, giving it more depth. Now it's time to add some glow. Grab the airbrush tool and gently build up that aura. If you're curious about my exact settings, check the description below. To finish things off, sprinkle in some particles for extra energy and movement. And if you're feeling adventurous, adjust the colors using hue saturation for a custom vibe. And that's it. Our electric current effect is complete. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your fellow editors. Your support keeps the channel growing. Until next time, happy editing.